Hey, y'all. I'm here with my baby. Say hi, Adela. Hello, viewers. <laughs> I'm going to have some jollof. Adela's tripping because, you know, it's probably not going to be up to Ghana standards. But, you know, I'm going to see. I'm going to let him see, too. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Because this will be the first time I ate African food since I've been home. I'm not even going to show y'all my hair because I had a head wrap on being very cute, but I wanted to take it off. So now I'm not going to show my hair. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting time as I always do, right? With my mouth. Just get to the right. Get Production the, is always delicious. Ridiculous. I'm just ridiculous. All right. So here we go. I have jollof rice. And... I'm, he's sitting back like he's watching a TV show. Mm -hmm. He's like, let me see this jalaw. I'm disappointed. They had trust issues, Della. Oh, just like what? That's the... I, I, I've been to Ghana and I know what it's supposed to taste like. This shit looks terrible. Oops, did I curse? I'm sorry. This looks terrible. Even... The why is the plantain black? The plantain is black. It's overcooked. It tastes it tastes burnt. Mm hmm. It don't taste nice. I'm gonna not eat that. There's a couple of them underneath that's not black. All right. So let me get to the rice. First of all, it has stew on it, and Della was saying that. People who put stew on their jollof have trust issues. This, I think it makes sense because jollof, he, as he explained, jollof already has stew that you use that you make first to put and then put the rice in it to make it. So why are you putting more stew on top of stew? It's not looking nice. I don't think I'm gonna be happy with it, Della. You, really? You looking at it thinking it looks nice? It would look nice. It, no, it would taste nice. It doesn't look like what I ate at your home. No, it it's wet. But I like the taste. The rice is not cooked all the way. You, you think I'm just making this up because I want it to not be as good as Ghanaian. But seriously, like the rice, they didn't cook the rice all the way through. If some of the grains are still kind of chewy, crunchy. And um and then the rice. There's an herb in there that I'm not familiar with and it's real strong. I don't know what it is. Not very happy with this. Let's see about the chicken. In Ghanaian culture, you do not eat with your left hand. That left hand is a no-no. You know how chicken, where you live, is so well seasoned and tastes so nice. <laughs> Ooh, right this, now. this does not really have any taste to it. Well, this, this came from a Nigerian restaurant, so there go the first problem. Sorry, Nigerians. Ghanaian food is way better. To me. I'm sure to you. Hmm? Well, that's what I'm thinking about when I, I come to the state. What's making it taste? What would make me miss my home is um, the food we have here and Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't know yet, but um, you've been you've been here before, and then you know the taste of some food. You know, sometimes you do crave for them, and you feel like you know this has a taste of it. This is not the taste. You will not be happy with this meal. The chicken tastes good. It's not like it's not good, but it doesn't taste like I had it from Ghana. Everything I ate in Ghana was superb. 
was, I mean, seasoned so nice. And this is just kind of plain. It's not street food, first of all. It came from a restaurant. Wow. And, um, I feel like on the street, the food tastes better, don't you? Do you? Yeah. Or or home? Home is yeah. better. Mm, watch it for sure. Watch it is, is, is a very, like, you know, the first day you had a taste of watch I felt that that, that was the only <clears throat> watch I had, which was very nice. And you also compared that it, it was a very nice too, so. Yes, it watch was. Watch. And this restaurant sells watch and I asked for but they didn't have it. And this restaurant doesn't you have it just for rest for um breakfast. And also they don't make it with noodle macaroni. They don't make it with salad. I was like, okay, it's not oh I guess you're only just really having the rice and beans and that's all it is. If you want chicken or fish with it, you can add it. Okay, so yeah, I won't be I'm gonna eat some of it. I never eat all my food, but I'm not going to be like tearing it up like I would if it was gone in. So I'm kind of disappointed. What I'm going to do is, um, see that red stuff on it? That's stew. Um, I'm going to find another place and I'm going to keep on trying until I get it right because I got to find somewhere when he gets here to be able to say, babe, let's go here because I know the food is amazing. Right, darling? And you need to brush up on your cooking skills so you, if we can't ever find that place, we'll just make it here. And you got to teach me. And we're going to be having some amazing food right in this house. Right. Yes. Uh, yep. I already know where the African market is. So got all the food imported from Africa. All right. See y'all. Thanks for watching. And, um, I guess I'm going to post this, maybe. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, post, post, post. It's our page. It's our page. All right. You want to say bye? Bye, Jesus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned on Chicken Day. We'll be posting more videos. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.